Well, let's uh, double down on that uh, content that you just saw right now and talk about uh, smart homes. As Namama is uh, Smart Homes Limited is one of the fastest growing housing development and real estate companies in the country. It is one place to find, of course, your smart homes, uh, your dream homes, and of course, an opportunity to own a property in the country, especially in the nation's capital, Abuja. The company is striving to, uh, on a daily and regular basis, to build smart homes uh, where with convenience, comfort, and security alongside many other uh, innovative ways uh, that has been developed in the real estate uh, market. So join us uh, to know more about uh, what they have to offer, about uh, their plans, as well as um, some of their projects, uh, is the Chief of Executive Officer of Amama Smart Housing Limited, Salim Goji, is joining us this morning. Good morning to you, Salim, and thank you so much for joining us on the program. Good morning. Right, uh, it, it, it does appear that um, for the past couple of weeks or months, uh, the housing industry has taken a hit uh, with regards to cost of production, cement is on a rise, everything, building materials are on a rise. So before we get down to the details, um, give me your perspective as an industry player, with what impact this current economic situation is having on your projects and everything else that you're doing. Okay, uh, for me... Um I just maybe uh, the cement now is very very expensive mm. so and there are projects that we are already doing mm. maybe at Luke Bay Airport mm. Road mm. that we collected money from people that were going to deliver a terrace duplex for them mm. as uh, 65 million mm. naira. Mm. so uh, that was before the inflation mm. and the cost of production so now we are looking at how to write letters to them, mm. invite them to come and sit down, mm. let's have a conversation mm. on how to review the prices. <laughs> right, because right. right now, even at, 70, mm. or even at 75 million naira, we cannot deliver those mm. houses mm. to them. Mm. So we're looking at modalities, how we can just, they should understand mm. as well, because they are in the country. Of mm. course, they know the situation of the country. Let us look at how to just get a solution at least. To deliver and it as a developer today. how bad is the situation i mean uh some people who are trying to do it on their own can say listen i will just i'll just go come back to the building next year you cannot afford to do that because like you just stated right now there are people who have already invested their monies yeah. and you have to deliver mm. how bad is the, is the situation with the building material cost um, it's it's really really bad because when you look at the situation maybe in abuja some of the developers have even stopped construction mm. So maybe they'll resume after reviewing prices, after maybe um, maybe they are hoping that it will come, it will reduce, the prices mm -hmm. will reduce. Yeah. But uh, as for me, this, we are just a young company, mm -hmm. so I cannot just say, okay, let me quit and wait. It mm -hmm. will give me like mm -hmm. bad reputation to the company. Mm -hmm. So I'm just finding a way, solution, mm -hmm. talking to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe even if it, it takes me to invest my money in it mm -hmm. just to deliver it to my people, mm -hmm. then uh, moving forward now, I'll look at how to review prices, uh, review prices mm -hmm. of the, maybe the our new projects that we are going to do in the future mm -hmm. so that maybe I can recoup my money mm. that I'm going to invest in this one just to deliver to our I guess Mr. Clients. Sode should buy buy now and then or <laughs> should have bought it yesterday or something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, Nigeria is um, the perfect example yeah. of um, whatever you want to do, just go ahead and, and do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. There's no waiting for a better tomorrow. Yes. Um, what we experience here, however. Usually the better tomorrow is uh, yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, every time this conversation comes up, um, the arguments usually are because most of the building materials are tied to the forex because mm. you've got to import maybe roofing sheets that are largely mm. dollar denominated, mm. uh, the iron steel, mm. uh, which makes about 40% of your construction mm. also um, imported, and of course the component of, of cement. For people who play in this industry, is it not time that you start rethinking the whole materials that go into construction in Nigeria? Isn't there, are there no materials that we have locally that can substitute for some of these components and make it very expensive to deliver those as I'm sure you are looking at bathtubs from Dubai. Mm. Uh, you are looking at uh, ceramic floors from mm. who knows, Taiwan mm. or Turkey. Mm. You are looking at lightings and finishing. From what, 
can't we find substitutes in Nigeria that can then help us manage these cost components and bring uh, construction down a bit? Yeah, and it should be at our advantage. I pray we should find a solution to that. We should start doing it here in the country. But Nigeria, you know, down to toothpick, we like importations. I don't know why. So uh, if it is something maybe our, uh, who should I even say engineers, or they should look at finding solutions for us. We don't have Local to import solutions. all these yeah. things. Yeah. You understand? Is it, it's that going the, is it that the solutions do not exist in country at all? Because I know there are one or two companies here and there who play within that spectrum. Perhaps maybe uh, some kind of patronage would then begin mm. to help them scale and, and improve the, their outputs to match some of those abroad. Surely, yes, but um, I think they are not getting the support, like you said. The people that are doing it here in the country, they are not getting the support from we developers or from people that are buying. Because um, if we should support them, that means it is even to our advantage. But like I said, in Nigeria now, we have, maybe let me just uh, move aside the uh, real estate sector. We have maybe companies like Jack that are producing cars. You see that Nigerians don't like patronizing them. We rather, we rather go and import uh, Land Cruiser, Prado, Toyota from uh, Germany, from other countries. You understand? So it's just like a Nigeria thing that we don't like using things from our country. And it is really, really not helping us at all. At this point, we should, if we, should, if we can all agree and start uh, patronizing ourselves, let us just be using uh, materials within the country and all, it's going to be to our advantage. Right. And, and people would then have no reason to complain about the prices of uh, some of these uh, homes. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about smart homes. Uh, for, for, for the most part, uh, you know, it's a word that has been bandied around. And I feel like uh, it's, it's sounding like a cliche right now. As a developer, what is a smart home? Okay, um, a smart home, as the name implies, is just uh, maybe everything smart, unique, luxury, simplifying every uh, aspect of uh, maybe your home, you understand? Yeah. For example, let it just be, maybe you want to enter your toilet. Yeah. When you open the door, the lights will turn on. Yeah. When you go out, yeah. it will turn off. Okay, or when you want to enter your house, for example, when someone, when you are not around, maybe you are even out of the country or you are in your office, yeah. when someone comes to your house, you should have access to see him from your from your phone you can just look at your phone and see this one is at my doorstep should i grant him access okay yes then you'll just put okay you'll just slide your phone then the door will open for him yeah. or if you if it is someone that is not welcomed yeah. you know uh, you don't have to slide your phone yeah. that means the smart homes it talks yeah. about security it talks about comfort yeah. it brings about uh, uh, for uh, the, what should I even say? Uh, Integrating everything. Uh, yes, together. yes, right, yes. Right. So yeah. it's just making everything easy yeah. and simple yeah. in a unique way. Yeah. All right. Um, just listening to you, uh, and something in my head is saying smart, good. But where is the electricity? Where is the broadband <laughs> penetration that would then help you enjoy some of these resources seamlessly? So. Um, I mean, give us an idea. Um, as, as you think these smart homes, are you then going to provide the support infrastructure that truly, I mean, that would make you enjoy the whole, the whole idea? Uh, because we buy cars in Nigeria that are supposed to uh, uh, drive and they're supposed to be seamlessly connected with mm. GPS, mm. you know, and all that. Mm. But, but somehow when you try, they will mm. tell you uh, where you are operating, the services are not available. So what do you do to truly make the experience uh, smart? you know for people who pay that much for those luxury that's why maybe the mama smart homes is different because we are looking at all our estates we are not looking at doing estates like a fab that you'll have maybe 300 houses in it at least even if you want to do uh, accommodate such uh, many, many clients many people we are going to do it in such a way that okay this this estate will just is phase one we are going to just put 30 houses then the Phase to 30 houses so that we are trying to go off grid. Mm. Off grid completely? No. Okay. Off grid with electric, with uh, a neighbor. Right. So we are going to do it in such a way that it will even be automatic. 
Mm. When there is no light, have, if, if you say they, will, they won't be light for like seven days, mm. this is our off grid something that we are going to bring, that we are importing to the country to, to use in our estates, yeah. is going to sustain the, okay. the mm. supply. Because, like I said, this um, solar something that we are going to bring mm. is just of something like if it is uh, minimizing the energy mm. when you are not around. Mm. All the lights will turn off by itself. Yeah. Okay. Energy saving, in, you know. Uh, yes, yes. But now, it's something of the normal one that we are using now in Nigeria is lights will be on, except if you maybe you go and turn you put turn it, it put them the off, switch, yeah. uh, fridge, gas cooker. Of course, it will be consuming the energy. Mm -hmm. But down to your light inside your toilet, mm -hmm. if you are not inside the toilet, everything goes off. Goes off. You understand? So it uses a sensor sort of. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. So there are things that when you go to Saudi Arabia, you see uh, they are already making use yeah, of all these sense, things. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So we are looking at bringing it to Nigeria. That mm. comfort that you find, that tourism that you want to go and do in Dubai and everything, we can bring it to Nigeria, mm. so that you don't have to go out. Mm. And give give me a sense of of the market, for instance, because especially here in Abuja, I get the feeling that um, there's so many estate developers. And you just talked about yours as a young startup uh, mm. in this particular industry. Uh, with all this saturation, what is the market like? Um, and, and and are people really buying homes? Yes, people are really buying homes because in Abuja, you know, there is housing deficit, mm. and we at Amama Smart Homes, we are doing. Pro, like we are going with the flow, we are looking at. Uh, so they say, sorry, they said there is no middle class again in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we, are, we are looking at doing it for the rich yeah. and for the. Yeah. I don't want to use the word poor. Yeah. Your your house are definitely not for the poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> uh, they are for people who can afford them. Yes, for uh, people more who can. They are not poor people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. that is why we have it in different different locations, mm -hmm. but uh, and very very affordable because mm -hmm. there are houses sometimes. We say, okay, we can deliver this to you at 45 million mm -hmm. naira because of the location. Maybe it is at Idu. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Even at that, you do. We try mm. to bring that smart something into it. Yeah. We just shinkri money. We just right. small money. We we'll right. look at how I, to. I would love to live in a world where I can call forty-five million affordable. Small money. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I would love. I would love to live in that uh, in that world. Uh, but you know, take us through you know the various projects, your locations, and um, the various fees that um, you're charging for, for the plot and, and how your plan varies from other plans that are out there, why people should consider you know, working with you instead of going elsewhere. Okay, like now, the, um, our Rome Apartments in Katampe Extension, we're selling um, 250 square meters for 16 million. Mm. And I bet you, at that site, maybe our neighbors are selling, they are not selling anything closer to the amount that we are selling mm. it starts from 25 million mm. i'm doing it 16 million because maybe i don't want to be greedy and if i can get at least small thing then it's more of i want to see the turnover mm. of the business mm. not like mm. in this room apartments i want to get everything mm. i'm we are in phase two mm. now mm. we can do phase three phase mm. four mm. you understand the money the profit will come later mm. But now, we are just trying to integrate ourselves mm. to invite people, let them know about us, let them know that we are the best mm. at this uh, real estate something. Mm. So we are not looking at maybe making profits now, we are just looking at, okay, how can we recoup all these people that are going to Brunson and Hamas, that are going to Bilal, that are going mm. to Coast Grove, how can they now join this? Uh, because if mm. Coast Grove now decides to sell a plot of land at 80 million. Nobody will question him because mm. he has already he, uh, the name is all over. Mm. Mm. They will look at okay, his cost growth. Mm. So everything mm. about cost growth is quality. Mm. All right. Mm. So uh, um, well, you said there are no middle class, but <laughs> you have those other developments. You know, they have the likes of me and Abdul mm. as part of your focus and uh, uh, yes, I don't so. think me and you are in the same class. But go on. All right. <laughs> go I'm on. Just thinking that why you think of the rich. 
uh, is there something that is also smart? Yes, uh, yes. And sir. really, really, really mm. affordable. affordable. Yes, yes, we have at our the Boulevard Estate in Idu. Okay. And talking about Idu, we know that because of this rail project mm. that Wiki has been mm. talking about and all, you know that Idu is going to be a very, very prime location in the future. Right. Not the future is not mm. in six years. So mm. I'm talking about maybe six months, mm. one year. Mm something mm. because of the rail mm. and that idu people don't know that from idu railway station it's even faster mm. to go to the uh namda zikwe airport mm. than to follow uh airport road look mm. because there is a road now that mm. the construction is ongoing and it's like six lane down it will even move to that kuje bridge mm -hmm. so you can just slide yeah. by right and go to the airport or follow to go to kuje yeah. mm -hmm. so there are prime locations that investors are supposed to invest now yeah and and we are selling like yeah. four million naira right. for per plot 3.5 mm -hmm. uh six million seven million mm -hmm. per plot yeah so 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 let's let's take it in phases then uh to to understand how it works um do you sell just the plots or do you also sell finished homes? Uh, give, me, give, me, give me a sense of okay. you know, the different we, classification that you have available. We do everything. Okay. For example, if you just want to buy a plot because some people are buying to invest, to yeah. sell in the future, to right. resell right. in the future. Right. Right. So some are buying to stay, yeah. to build. Yeah. Some will even build and sell. Yeah. Some will build and okay. live in yeah. and yeah. stay in. So it depends on the clients that we have yeah. when uh, for example now at lube we are because the place is habitable yeah. already yeah. there are houses all uh, all around the this thing, the, the, location. Uh, the location so we are building we are selling it as finished houses yeah. you understand yeah. so at idu now we are selling it because it is not that kind habitable yeah. for now maybe yeah. you are looking at in two years yeah. Okay, we are selling it per plot. So when it is habitable now, you that bought it at four million, you can decide to sell it for, uh, yeah. ten million, yeah. for example, yeah. because it is Abuja, yeah. and land is appreciating yeah. rapidly, yeah. day by day. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? And and in talking about payment plans, for instance, uh, let's talk about that um, because there are those who can afford to pay off one time, hmm. and then there are those who would say, listen, I can I can afford it, but not at a go. So, what is your payment plan like? We, we, are, we are very, very flexible. We are very, very flexible. I can remember... Flexible when, like I can pay in 10 years? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's flexible as far as I'm concerned anyway. No, 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 yeah. It, What's the flexibility like? We're looking at maybe some nine months, mm. six months, because it do is just four million naira. Mm. We're looking at, okay, in six months, you, mm. you, you should Four million be able to for what, what uh, plot size? 300 square, square meter meters, right. for a mm. semi detached. Mm. Duplex? Yeah, mm. duplex. Mm. So at least we look at maybe you pay in six months. Mm. When it comes to Katampe, we pay in nine months. When it comes to Asokoro, maybe we can go, okay, we can say, okay, we can do one year, 12 months. Mm. So even at that, most of the clients that I used to have, even if I give them this payment plan, they used to pay before. Mm the uh, situated mm -hmm. uh, time mm -hmm. of this thing that we are giving them mm -hmm. so i want to believe that i'm I, my own are cheaper mm -hmm. so if you see the uh, land if you mm -hmm. see the location of my lands mm -hmm. and you see the and you compare with the price you know that i am really 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 doing a lot of favor for you mm -hmm. investment wise if you want to build and stay and all mm -hmm. so and and there, there are some of these developers who have um these payment plans um, tied to, say, the Federal Mortgage Bank. There are those who are working with the Federal Mortgage Bank, uh, the housing fund, to, mm. you know, give Nigerian workers who cannot afford to pay these, you know, exorbitant amount to cover their costs, and then yes. they get to pay. Uh, do you? Do you? Yes, do you we do with? that. We mm. do that. We do that. Mm. We do that. Even as of last week, we had a client of same uh, scenario, mm. and yeah, we handled everything. So. Yeah. Well, so yeah. what's the feedback like, you know, uh, for some of the people who are taking off? And, and I'm saying this uh, because sometimes you get these promos that, uh, that look very attracting, that offer you all kinds of things. But by the time you commit ones, you start seeing hidden conditions. 
They say, okay, sorry, we did not tell you this uh, when you were onboarding, mm. but these terms and conditions also... There are extra hidden charges. You know, hidden charges, yeah. hidden costs. Yeah. Uh, and so when you get in, it becomes tiring for you it's to, true. It's to true. finish. Uh, yeah, it's right. You are right. What's the situation mm. with them now? You are right, because um, some of... Normally, there is legal fee of 5%. That's why I usually tell my marketers, people, that my agents, mm. my staff... Mm. When you want to market to someone, mm. tell him that. everything. Mm. Tell him everything. Mm. Okay, we have infrastructural fee, but that one we are not collecting it now because prices of things in Nigeria are not stable. Mm. So when it comes to the time that you are moving to site, we'll not tell you, okay, infrastructural fee is 1.5 million. Just tell them, let them be rest assured that it won't be high. Mm. We will try as much as we can to keep it low. But you should tell them so that they should expect in the future that they are going to still make another payment, mm. development fee. Mm. Of course, they will need us to do borehole for them. Of course, they will need us to uh, hire security uh, for them, infrastructure. Maybe we'll do uh, roads inside the estate. We'll connect um, recreation center, uh, recreation something for channel their drainage. children, uh, channel drainage, mm. uh, sewage, all these things. All these things. Yeah. So it is good that you tell them so that they should expect, they should save. But even me now, buying something and then I don't know about, maybe I feel like I've completed everything, then at the end you come and tell me to pay, even if it is 500 Naira, <laughs> I'll feel somehow. Mm. Right. Right. And, uh, you know, as, as we wrap up this particular conversation, give me a sense of where you think this market is heading towards. We all know about the housing deficit, not just in Abuja, but across the country. But Abuja, unlike any other state, is the go-to places for businesses, mm. for people who want mm. to establish themselves and so on and so forth. Where do you see this expansion going, especially uh, as we're witnessing the development and the spread of residential areas into, say, for instance, Idu, for instance, where normally you don't have a lot of people mm. living there, but mm. from, from the look of things, the expansion mm. is really uh, going into the hinterlands. Yeah. Mm. So Idu, Kiami, Apo, Wasa, mm. Karshi, mm. Kurudu, mm. like Abuja, we still have enough space to accommodate for people. Just mm. that maybe the government needs to do better in providing housing. We have Karsana, mm. Mm. very close to Guarimpa. If you can, even Karsana is in between Guarimpa and Kubwa. Mm. So mm. somehow it shouldn't just be left like this. Mm. Right. You understand? Mm. So we have Apoasa, we have Idu, like you say, we have Kiami, we have all these places. So we are heading to, I think we developers should do better than, uh, what's the name, government again, should, because we'll be pushing for allocations. We'll mm. be pushing to, okay, even if government are not, this land are just there. Can you what please about allocate the infrastructure? It to us? Because, you know, the road access mm. needs to be there, obviously. Uh, to yes. Before the development is there. is doing a mm. really, really good job. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes in a, in we developers we don't really depend on government like mm. that mm. because we are private sectors. We know how to recoup our money back. Mm. We we'll look at okay if we are like six developers that are want to enter into Wasa and develop, mm. we'll now say okay let's just do this road. We'll mm. just wait for the government to give us approval, mm. maybe to give us the survey plan. Mm. This is how to go about this. This is how to go about that. This one is a commercial mm. area. This one is residential. These right. are the all. Uh, these are the things that we need. Right. Then we okay. put our money in. Mm. Then we we'll look at how to maybe recoup it from Salim. Yeah, okay. Uh, Salim, interesting conversation. Wish you all the best uh, going forward. Uh, okay. Perhaps uh, when this business gets as big as the other businesses, you don't forget uh, that, that uh, we once hosted you and, uh, uh, you know, perhaps uh, well, okay. maybe Sunday will uh, yeah, we'll afford uh, that uh, 65 million naira home to add to his many other homes, actually, yeah. <laughs> that he has already. Uh, Salim, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank I appreciate you, you uh, for your business and for joining us uh, on the program. Okay. All right, we're going to